Right, how's it going guys, and welcome back to Arcano. Today I've got another round of building tips suggested by this comment in the last video. So, we're going to be doing that today. We've got a volleyball court, a small little house, which I'm going to do some changes when I actually build it, a, like, a little sun umbrella, and a way to make nicer boats. If you do end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing if you're not already, and like the video to help boost it through the YouTube algorithm. Right, that's all, and I'll see you guys when we're building. So for the first tip, I'm going to be showing you how to make a volleyball court, and I'm going to be using literally just three materials and two paints. It's incredibly simple. It's one of the easiest things that I know how to build. We're going to start off by going up five um, iron fence on each side, as you can see here, going up by five. On that one, I did paint with the top using grey, but I don't think it looks as good. Then I'm going to use some white paint with some silly big green balloon, and that's going to act as a kind of ball. Then we're going to go with some shadow paint and some cobwebs to kind of make the fence. I think this looks quite nice. There's probably better blocks out there to use for this, but I think this looks nice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an actuator on the little bit of silly balloon, and then I'm going to actuate it just like that. And there you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this little beach heart. This is quite a nice design. It can obviously be better, but this is just for beginners. It's quite simple because it only requires a few different types of woods and it's also just looks quite nice. So the way I'm going to be doing this is a little bit different. I'm going to build it and then explain to you what I've done at the end. Now what I've done is I've used bamboo to kind of make a top. First of all, I've built this a little bit stretched, sorry for that, but how I'm working on the roof is quite nice. So I'm using hammered blocks and little spaces to create small, well, let some light in. And it looks nice because it's not all in just darkness and like if you see here, you can press and hold hammering to break something and then you can also just place or hammer the thing just so it doesn't show the background it still shows the wall behind it but it just looks really nice i've also used rich mahogany shade wood and palm wood then for the roof what i used is deep green painted crimson grass wall and living rich mahogany leaf right let's go to the next one now for the beach umbrella. This is also incredibly simple, and no, that is not a dead body on the floor. That is a beach carpet kind of rug thing. I know, it looks pretty sinister, but don't worry. You can always switch out the blocks. So, for this, what you're gonna need is two paints and about four blocks. Technically only three if you want it without the carpet thing at the bottom. We're gonna go up five tiles with um, iron fence painted white. We're also going to do a kind of pattern with two fences. We're going to go with bone platform, then I think it's blue brick platform, then bone platform again in that pattern. Then you're going to paint the middle and the sides with deep red paint. Then you're going to hammer the top three times for each thing to create that umbrella. Then we're going to get our deep red paint and our flesh blocks and we're going to place three across the bottom like that. Then we're also going to hammer them. Then we're going to get our bone platform and our white paint, place it there and hammer it so it kind of looks like a cushion. And that's it. That's all. Now for the boats. This is probably the most complex on the list, but I'm going to show you how to do it quite simply. We're going to get a few materials. You need about four or five woods to build this. I'm using shade wood, boreal wood, rich mahogany wood, and spooky wood. Then for platforms, I'm using two honey platforms. And for walls, I'm going to be using ebon wood fence, sail, and also I think it's rich mahogany wall. And this is quite a long process, so I'm going to speed it up and I'm going to walk you through it as it's being sped up. For the first part, I'm going to be building up the sides where it kind of anchors up. 
I'm also gonna be adding the platforms on the second row just here, then adding up the kind of curve at the top left and also at the top right. Then I'm gonna hammer it all into shape and also gonna add in the platforms. Then I'm gonna start actuating and adding in texture. Once I've done that, I'll start working on the actual top of the bit where the sail bit comes up. So I'm gonna use Evan wood fence for that. I'm also gonna use um, wood shelf and I'm also gonna use sails. I'm gonna extend the top one and kind of add a bird's nest, which I think looks really nice. Now, we're gonna actuate these top bits, which also adds a lot. It just kind of makes it feel a bit more full. Then I'm gonna get some sail. And I think that will literally be it. Then you can just decorate it however you want. So how I'm gonna do this is one at the bottom, then go up by four and then one there. And it kind of looks like a sail. I think it looks quite nice. This is mainly for moving ships, but just in this situation, it looks very nice. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two crates, place them down and it'll look great. And there we have it, the finished boat with everything on it. I'm just gonna finish this up by putting a desert torch just on the middle row. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I completely forgot to film an outro, so I'm gonna have to use the intro again. And I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you've made it this far, comment down below if you have. I make sure to read every comment. If you did enjoy these and you want me to do more building tips, leave a like, and if you're not subscribed already, just check if you are. It really helps me out. Also, if you have another idea for a type of theme of build tips that you want me to do, comment it down below and I'll try and build it. Anyways, that's all for now and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Peace out.